This, this is the new Sony ZV-1. You won't believe what this thing is capable of, especially at the price point. And it can do stuff like this, slow motion, 480 frames per second to capture this hummingbird. And it's also got amazing color science. And that's something that, where do we go? The Canon uh, has touted for a very long time. Really beautiful color science. But I think honestly, the Sony Camp has really come a long way and the colors are very, very pleasing. Now the Sony ZV-1 also comes packed with picture profiles. This is fantastic for really getting the most dynamic range out of your footage. However, the thing that I think makes this camera so appealing is just how good the footage looks straight out of the camera with really very little editing at all. And what you're looking at right now is just that. This footage was shot in 4K, which the camera does. In fact, you can record up to basically until the battery dies eyes or until the camera overheats, which I've had that happen a few times, but it hasn't been a deal breaker and it hasn't been often. And if you're just getting started or you want simplicity, which there's a lot of power on YouTube and simplicity, being able to create great looking videos without a lot of time, effort, or thought, this camera is incredible. Now that being said, the Canon M50 retails for $500, meaning you could get this camera that has these interchangeable lenses for a whole lot less money. So does that make it a better deal? Well, maybe depending on your budget. However, once again, this camera's got some tricks up its sleeve that make it really appealing, specifically the f-stop. As you can see here, this camera comes with a 24 to 70 millimeter f1.8 lens, and that's a really big deal because if you want to get kind of the blurred background, which is really great for cinematic shots, to really isolate the subject in the frame from the background, then having a low f-stop lens is required. And if you buy the Canon M50, the kit lens that comes with it has an f-stop of about 3.5, which means you really won't be able to get that cool blurred background look that you can with, again, the Sony. Even better, there's literally a button that you can push that makes it possible. And here's the thing, you know, a lot of a lot of people might hate that, like, well, I'm a real photographer, I'm a filmmaker, and I can do that with the settings. But here's the thing, when you're out and about, you're actually shooting, when you've been shooting for three or four hours, and you just wanna get the shot and you want it to look good, I'm really cool with pressing a button to make my footage look amazing. And I can do that with this camera. So let's say you wanted to buy the M50 and you wanted to get that blurred background. Well, you'd buy a specific lens, which is notably this lens here on my Sony, which is a Sigma 16 millimeter F 1.4 lens, which is incredible, but costs around $400. And all of a sudden, the Sony is less expensive. Now let's talk autofocus because again, if you're creating videos for YouTube and you're on your own, if you're filming by yourself, then having autofocus you can rely on is highly desirable. This is the Sony 6400. It's got really good autofocus, but actually, interestingly enough, the cheaper camera has better autofocus. It's got eye tracking autofocus in video, which is top of the line and was first introduced with the A9 camera, which costs multiple thousands of dollars. So you get that technology in this camera, again, 750 bucks. And the Sony ZV-1 has stabilization, digital stabilization built in, and once again, the Sony A6400 does not. Want to track a dog? No problem. It can smooth the footage out and it's gonna look great. And that's a big deal. Having stable footage, much more important than say filming in 4K. 
let's say you're at the skate park and you're kind of doing the handheld thing, this camera is going to make it look a lot better than this, the Sony a6400, or this, the M50. Well, not exactly. The M50 also has digital stabilization baked in. However, after testing both, I think this, the Sony ZV-1, is a little bit better. Now, another really great feature is interval shooting, and that's really fantastic, allowing you to create time lapses with photos rather than video, which results in a more high quality time lapse. I want to share some thoughts on how I've kitted this camera out because I absolutely love how I've set my camera up. First off, this is not required and if you're on a budget, I would recommend you buy something like a great microphone first. Yes, the microphone on the ZV-1 is good, but not as good as the footage that you'd hear. In fact, let me play a clip right now from one of my videos shot with the Rode Wireless Go and a lavalier mic. Now her success, it begins with these types of topics. Minimalism, being an introvert, relationships, feeling lonely, hooking up, and more. You see, these topics are so easy to relate to. You've been lonely, you've thought about or wanted a relationship, and that makes it so easy for her audience to connect with the videos she publishes. Now, this setup with having a wireless microphone allows me to take footage of myself when I'm far away from the camera and it still captures my voice. Incredible. And I mentioned the tripod, tripod here. This is not only a tripod, but you can turn on the camera, you can turn off the camera, you can take a photo of the camera, you can zoom in, you can zoom out. Really, again, fantastic for basically like vlog style and so on. This worked out fantastic. I wasn't sure this would be worth it. A lot more expensive because it's 256 gigs, but that means I don't worry about running out of space. In fact, I can record 4K footage for close to six hours, which is insane, without worrying about you know running out of space. Furthermore, this card has really high speed write to the card, which means it's no problem for slow motion footage. Awesome. How long can you record on one battery? It's a very small battery, it's a very small camera. If you're filming in 4K, you can record about an hour before the battery is exhausted. I started out with three batteries and that's been fine and probably fine for most YouTubers. Now the ZV-1 is a tremendous camera and if you wanna learn how to get more views to the videos you publish here on YouTube, check out one of the videos on the screen now. Do that and you're gonna feed a poodle. I've got two poodles and they're hungry. You dig?